Okay, so we're back with the tarpon. I'm gonna do a little painting. I like to use none other than watercolors. Um, acrylic is a little too thick. You know, you gotta water it way down to make it kind of, you know, give the highlights. We're just, we're just adding a little bit of color to add a little bit of highlight. We're not gonna take away from the burn. That's what personally I don't like to add too much because it will take away. Sometimes I get carried away and you know, that happens. But today we're gonna do a little color across the top, a little color across the bottom. Um, I use just a regular, what is this? This is a, you know, watercolor brushes from what is Artist Loft, they're cheap, nothing crazy. And then I've got, I think these are Windsor Newton, maybe? I don't know, some type of, right? you can use whatever you want, but watercolor is best for me. The wood absorbs it really well by holding uh, just a, you know, a hint of color, unless you just keep piling it up. But let's get started. Take my brush, regular brush. Where's my water at? There we go. Add some water. We're gonna add just a little hint of blue across the top. Um, give it kind of like a, you know, good aquatic effect. Load up my brush here. It's a little stiff. Add a little water. You know, comment below if you have any questions on stuff I'm not explaining, but I've used watercolors my whole life. That's how I used to paint, but if you have something else that you like to do on your wood burnings on how you like to add color, please comment below. Let me know. I'd love to find out, you know, anything new is fun to me, you know, just figuring out how people do stuff. That's why I made the channel. Let's work together. Let's have fun. Just a hint, that's all we're doing. A little bit on the bottom. That's it for the color, for the tarpon. That's all I like to do. Um, let this dry, I'm gonna come in with some sparkle. So this is Glitterific, uh, it's an acrylic glitter paint. Um, I don't know how I found this. I was just searching for random stuff on eBay. I came across this. See there they have a ton of different colors I even saw a different brand at Target doing the same thing recently but I'm gonna take this I'm gonna add it to the top real thick and then I'm just gonna kind of base it all over it really makes the fish come alive you know like in real life when you pull fish out of the water what's it doing it's sparkling I'll give you an idea here and just 
adds a whole new element to wood burning. You can see there, that's, you know, it's popping. Looks cool, it's fun. If you're a wood burner that, you know, is just strictly wood burning, check out the first video. Show you what I do, just how to burn with the torch and the spatula. And the detail pen. You know, the glitter paint that you add here, it doesn't really, really look good until you get that epoxy on there. Looks pretty cool, but once that epoxy's on it, it's game changer. Terrific. You can find it uh, probably any craft store. I buy mine off eBay. Um, comes in a lot of different colors. This is a, a aquatic blue color or something. Um, there it is. Um, I'll show you how to put some epoxy on it. Uh, I know a lot of people like to use epoxy for any other finish that you like to use. Go for it. I personally put epoxy on all these. And you can see that shine. Turns out pretty cool. Yeah, that's part two. Uh, part one, you know, showed you how to burn it. Part two showed you how to add a little color and epoxy. Um, you know, give me a minute. I'll get the epoxy ready and we'll get it started. Okay, so let's mix some resin. Um, now, when mixing epoxy, Oh, it always tells you how long to mix it for. This is two-part epoxy. This is tabletop epoxy. This is incredible solutions. This I like this stuff. I get a big bulk, you know, gallon sizes, and uh, it works for me. There's a million other ones out there, but you choose yours. I'll choose mine. This is what I like to go with. Two-part epoxy. I do a half and half. I've got four five pieces on the table. So I'm gonna go with 64 ounces, which will mean I'll need 32 of each. up ready to go. Go into the tarpon, your gloves on, just 
kind of spread it around. All right, so here's the tarpon we were working on. All that color looks really nice. Good sparkle all the way through. Okay, so here you go. Here is the finished product of the tarpon. Really see the shine. Turned out really well. Nice, good finish. Good color. Good pop. If you like this video, um, go ahead and subscribe, share it, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time.